potential is on integrating them with traditional sources like census data in order to fill temporal gaps and improve the spatial resolution at which migration is usually recorded and this integration would also allow to leverage on strengths of each data and at the same time minimizing some of their bias. Uh, we are using cell phone data records and uh, for interview along with uh, machine learning techniques uh, to identify gender specific uh, pattern in Nepal in order to support uh, policy. Uh, furthermore, in collaboration with the IOM and the Internal Displacement Monitoring Center, we are also combining cell phone data records uh, with displacement tracking matrices uh, in order to better understand the disaster uh, driving uh, migration. So the main advantages is like uh, their massive sample size, the relative reliable origins and destination and length of stay that we can derive from them, and uh, also the, the, very, the very detailed spatial and temporal resolution, and the fact that uh, from at least some of them uh, we can retrieve information about social network and wealth. In terms of the limitation, uh, we have to be aware that some of the groups may not be represented, such as the elderly, the poorest, uh, and the children. And uh, the fact that uh, they not uh, ex explicitly, co explicitly contain uh, demographic information. Another limitation is uh, given by the difficult to assess and share the data because of, mostly of commercial and privacy concerns.